Hey everybody, we are Teaching Tilt Brush. A little bit of a late start today, but we're gonna dive right in because we got a couple of special things to talk about today. One of the things that we got going today is a special for the Quest users. Quest. They have recently come out with version 21, specifically for the Quest which adds a lot of those cool features that were missing before into what Quest can do now. So for those of you who've seen the earlier Quest videos, Oculus Quest for Tilt Brush, there were a lot of limitations that the Quest couldn't do just because it was smaller, less powerful. Well, with version 21, they've added back in a whole lot of the useful tools that make it very easy uh, to get information to and from your Tilt Brush. Now, some of those features do actually require a PC computer to do what's called side load, to get information into and out of your Quest. You'll notice I'm not using a Quest for this demonstration simply because it doesn't play nice with our interactive camera here. So we're going to talk about what are some of the things in the new update that's going to enable Quest to do a lot more types of things. We will also have a link down below in the comments uh, where we're going to be pointing you directly to where those pieces are, where you can get more information from yourself, and some actual step-by-step -step, uh, instructions for connecting your Quest to uh, types of computer for doing this type of side loading. So, we're going to start off with one of the items that have always been on the PC version, but is now on the Quest. Part of your uh, tool brush is something called the Labs. On the PC, we've got that little right here, Labs panel. And the Labs panel, whoops, has things like... Labs panel has things like uh, our reference image. You may have seen me import a JPEG to look at. Labs adds that to the Quest. There's also an export feature using, I think it's called a QLib1, I think is the file type, which is all about taking your model, your tilt brush sketch, and exporting it for other devices. This will save it on uh, your device, your, your Quest, so hopefully you have the larger memory size. And when you connect it to a PC for the side loading, you have access to the folder structure. It'll actually show up as a list called SD card tilt brush. That way it keeps the files separate from the actual program itself. So if you end up uninstalling tilt brush, it's not gonna remove your saved work, your exported work and things like that from the vibe, from your quest itself. So we've added live, uh, I'm sorry, the labs to the quest. Labs includes our reference images, bringing in JPEGs. You slot side load them into your quest, and then they show up in labs. On the quest, there's going to be something called reference images, which is a list of all the pictures you've got loaded in. And you can bring them into the environment to use for sketching, to use as images, that type of thing. Bear in mind, reference images are not saved as part of the sketch. So when you upload the sketch to Poly, for example, it will not include any reference images you've imported. Those are for your work and your entertainment only. It also has, and not only does it have the reference images and this export feature, but it also has experimental cameras. Just like I've got this camera that you guys are watching me on, we are working on figuring out how the Quest's experimental camera can be used for a similar purpose so that you can have a third person view of the sketch that you're making or use it as a camera for fly throughs and things like that because part of labs not only do we have the normal export but you can also use the quest to start saving animated gifs and things like as that as well again it's easiest to get access to it if you can side load to another pc computer but the quest Update 21 has added a lot of those cool features that the Quest was missing. This is going in as of August 25th, 2019. So if you've been working with your Quest and you've had it for a while and you haven't picked it up for a month or two, this is a recent update, Update 21, that adds these types of features. So you Oculus Quest users, get out there, load in this, let's get the world out of the way here, uh, load in these features so that you can start using Quest just like the PC, share a little more, import a little more, look for the new labs setting on your Quest controller. 
That's all for this little update. We'll be doing other classes and things as we go. Stay tuned for any other updates and check the comments below for any of the new links going straight out to the reference, uh, reference tools, that type of stuff. The uh, release notes. Let's stop that. Let go! The release notes for, uh, my trigger is stuck. The release notes for Tilt Brush are available online from Google. So we'll have a link to that below. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to get my subscribe message up here so that we can move on to the next bit. Thank you all for joining me. Keep those quests going and let us know in the comments below if you have any other questions, comments, or any tricks you've noticed uh, for the quest. One thing it did not add is spheres. I'm sorry. You can still do circles, but you still cannot do spheres. We'll work on that. Take care, everybody.